extra stuff. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It's Elsa Rocks here, and welcome to another unboxing video. Uh, today is a super, 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 super special one. So for me, it's only been a couple of minutes since the last unboxing that I did, the Mark Sears one. For you, it could be a couple of days. I'm not sure. But today, you can see it in the corner. It is that big. Um. I am so excited to open this, like I cannot contain my excitement. I've had this in my house for about, I'd say about a month now, and it's just been sitting in my living room and I've not opened it, I've not looked in it, I've not even peeked in it. I don't, I don't know, well, I have an idea of one of the things that might be in it, but that's it. So this has been sent to me by a very kind person who watches these videos and I would say who they are but that would be cheating they didn't want me to say so I won't so thank you anonymous person for sending me this box I'm so excited I can't wait and it's right before Christmas and I get to open it and I'm so excited I should probably have waited till after Christmas but I don't care I need to open it I need to open it it's been in my house for so long so this is the secret Ilsa box crate thing, whatever it was gonna be called. So anyway, let's just get to it because I'm so excited. So, oh God, it's, it's so big. I, I'm trying to open it and, and still be on camera. So I'm just gonna like try and grab things as I see them. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. I see, I see a pop figure. I don't see what one. Oh, ooh. I'm going to be pulling this face the whole time. I'm just like looking at my own face because I look so dumb. <sighs> my bae. It is a Pierre Baelish um, pop figure. Pierre Baelish is my favorite character from Game of Thrones. And everyone's always like, ew, why? He's so evil. He's such a creep. But I love him. I love him so much because he's so like unpredictable you're like you have no idea what this guy is gonna do next you don't know if he's being good you don't know if he's being evil is he actually trying to help people is he actually not trying to help I'm not gonna spoil anything but yeah one minute you think he's like super evil the next minute you're like uh, is he maybe being good now and you're like wait no is he evil no is he good is he evil no I love him I love him so much and now I have a miniaturized version of him to keep in my house I'm so oh my gosh how can it get better than this? I can't even right now. Ah, so Peter Baelish, he's doing his like little, um, I'm trying to get the, the sheen off of it there. All you can see is me in the screen. It's like Peter Baelishception. Ooh. So yeah, like he's got his cute, oh, there we go. Cute little goatee thing going on. And yeah, adorable, adorable. I am so happy right now. I love it. I love it. I love it. This box is so big, I'm like trying to move around it. Okay, so the next item. What is this? There's like a white, oh my God, it's heavy. It's really heavy. It's like a big white box. What is it? What could it be? It's in bubble wrap. What's in the bubble wrap? Oh, is it a cup? It's a cup. I don't know what kind of cup, so let's have a closer look. <gasps> ah! Oh my goodness! Let me get it out of packaging. I got so excited. It is a good mythical morning cup. So, people who know me really well know that I am a huge fan of Rhett and Link. I watch them every single, well, I'd say I watch them every single morning. I watch them every day, certainly, that they put shows out. And I really, really love them. I've watched them for quite a while now, probably as long as I've watched Rooster Teeth, but um, yeah, I absolutely love Good Mythical Morning and Good Mythical More and just Rhett and Link in general. I'm so excited about this and it feels really good. It's like this weird matte material here. It's just like, ooh, it feels good. It's, it's a good mug. This is officially going to be like my tea mug forever now. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's fantastic. It feels so good. Like it feels expensive. <laughs> It's not a weird thing to say. There's like packaging all around me. I'm gonna put it on my coaster because I am in the kitchen right now. Not that you can see that. Well, technically I'm in the dining room. Uh, okay, I'm trying not to look. I'm just trying to grab things. What's this? Ooh, this is the thing that I knew about. So 
So um, I already have this book. I couldn't wait and I, I bought it myself because I couldn't wait to, to look at it. Um, but this one is special because, let me show you, it is signed by PewDiePie, which is a huge deal for me. I know maybe not all of you are, are um, PewDiePie fans, but um, I, I've been watching Felix as well for a long time and I really, really like his style of humor. I know it's not for everybody, but I really, really enjoy it. And his book is just probably the dumbest, funniest thing ever. It's just full of like, you know, inspirational quotes and everybody's like, yes, this quote is just my life. He kind of rips the piss out of all these quotes by giving you like equally rubbish quotes. So yeah, it's like, um, I don't know. I'm trying to find, this is my favorite one, which I use every day, every day. Don't be a salad, be the best goddamn broccoli you could ever be. I use this and I try and spread that mantra wherever I go. So this this book is gonna be the keeping book because it's signed. And then I bought my copy as like the reading book for just like I can kind of get it all, open it wide and don't really care about how it gets because I can just read it but this one is a very special one because it's signed and he only went to a few places to get it signed so I'm really 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 appreciative of this like so much put it here very safe okay let me reach into this thing here Ooh, what's this uh, oh it's another pop figure <gasps> oh my gosh so we have another they, they know I like my Game of Thrones. It is the Hound this time. Oh, he looks so sad. Let me move it into screen there. Can you see? He's got a little burn on the side of his face. Oh, I love the Hound so much. Like, <laughs> I know I said that with Peter Baelish, but I really love the Hound so much. I kind of thought he was a bit of a douchebag in series one. But then after that, I was just like, I love him. I love him. And he must be in every single scene all the time because I love him. <laughs> yeah, I, I really love Game of Thrones. Like, if you hadn't noticed, <laughs> I really love Game of Thrones. So now Peter Baelish and the Hound can forever kind of give each other evils from across the room. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, there's still more. How can this be? How is there still more? I need to dive in here. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I was just like staring in amazement at this. Um, okay. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my gosh. I'm really sorry. I keep seeing more things that I'm like losing my shit right now. Okay. So we have the um, fun. Oh my gosh. Please don't fall. In fact, I'm going to put it down because I'm just a hazard to myself right now. We have the um, house, fun house, another Game of Thrones e themed thing. But also Funhouse. I love Funhouse. I had never heard of Inside Gaming before. Um, and then when Funhouse became a part of Rooster Teeth, I was a bit like, uh, who are these guys? I don't know who they are. And then Katie from the podcast was like, Elsa, you need to watch them. They're so funny. I was like, okay, I'll give them a chance. And instantly just loved them. Absolutely loved the way that their humor is. And... Then Katie was talking about that she'd known them since Inside Gaming, so I thought I'd give them a shot. And it was just, oh, their their humor is just so, like, spot on for me. I just, I absolutely love them. And, like, I know not everybody likes them, but at times I, I like them more than a Jane Melander. But not always. I like them equally. I like them equally. It's okay. Don't panic. So next community day... I'm going to be, I'd say next community day, I'm going to be all about this. Every time, as soon as this gets out of the wash from me wearing it, it will be going straight back on again when I'm not wearing the House Rooster Teeth one. Like, I'm so glad that they made um, Game of Thrones themed shirts because I'm just, I'm all about it. So excited, so excited, so excited. Okay, 
There's two more items in here, I think. Um, yeah, I think. <laughs> I hope your Game of Thrones fans because here's another thing. I can't quite believe my eyes right now. I'm going to keep this in the, in the paper, I think, because I'm going to need to get this framed. I can't, like, another character that's like, I'm so happy right now. Another character that I absolutely love, 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 love is Hodor. <laughs> So, yeah, it's for me. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> this is like the best thing ever. I am like, I'm so happy right now. I can't even, I can't believe that this person managed to get this signed for me. I'm just like, I can't, my brain can't compute all these amazing things at once this is like better than christmas better than birthdays all put together i'm just like it's like my favorite shirt that i was wanting my favorite book that i was wanting all my favorite game of thrones characters in order of how much i love them which is all the time always always and there's one more thing in here because they obviously watch my unboxing videos unboxing unboxing videos and they know that at the end I must eat so it makes me sound like some kind of monster so yeah I have but oh my god there's a it says Mike and Ike brand chewy fruit flavored candies they look like something Ugh, okay naturally aren't officially flavored Jurassic World Tropical Fruit Chewy Fruit Flavored Candies. Mystery Dino Eggs inside. I don't... What do you mean Mystery Dino Egg? Okay, so there's... I'm trying to read the flavors here. They kind of put the sticker over it. We have Kiwi Banana. Caribbean Punch. I'm trying to get the sticker off. Strawberry Banana. Pink Flavor and Orange Flavor. We'll, we'll figure that out as we get there. So these are Jurassic World flavored beans with white ones being mystery flavor. So there's a lot of these mystery flavored ones. Um, there we go. Let's, let's give it a gander. So luckily the mystery flavor isn't, oh, it's strong. Oh, blooming egg. It's not bad. Oh, what is that? It tastes... Oh, it's weird. Oh, describe it. Um, I guess it's... Oh, I think it's supposed to be strawberry lime. But the flavor is so intense. It's like... Strawberry... Bleh, strawberry lime... I can't say that. Strawberry, lime, vodka. It probably is because now I can't say it. So I'm going to try and get another one. Here we go. It looks the same, but probably tastes different. See if this one's as strong. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, maybe it's all the flavors mixed together. Like kiwi, banana, Caribbean punch, strawberry, banana, something, something, something. Um, oh, that tastes insanely weird. I think it could be all the flavors mixed up together all the eggs kind of look the same but there's like a moment where oh <laughs> there's a moment where you can't taste anything and then it hits you like a brick wall <laughs> oh lord oh maybe i should just start oh god Uh, uh, I'm, I'm eating them, but 
that is gotta be the weirdest flavor in the universe. I don't I don't know what that flavor is. Oh, it's gonna make me sneeze. <laughs> I don't know what it is, and it's making me like, ugh. Okay, so while I like freak out over here, I'm gonna recap everything. I can't, I can't like, I feel so spoiled right now. I really don't deserve all these amazing things. So we have the dinosaur egg like jelly beans. Um, I'm guessing this is an American brand because I've never heard of, yeah, it says product of the USA on the back here. It says may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. So I'm going to be like a zing for the next while. Um, okay. So there, there's the beans there. We have the amazing Hodor picture signed just for me. So excited. So excited. Cannot wait to get that framed. I'm keeping it in the wrapping because I'm just like, I'm so protective over it right now. We have the House of Funhouse shirt right here. There we go. Sorry, the, the camera glitched a bit. Hopefully that, that didn't do anything. So I will definitely be wearing that. So check out my Twitter ASAP when this comes up because no doubt there will be a picture of me poting away. Poting? Poting. That is pouting and posing together. Pooting. Get it trending. Um, we have the Hound and Peter Baelish, aka Littlefinger, um, pop figures. Adorable. I love them. I love them. They're so cute. Oh, stay. We have the GMM Good Mythical Morning mug. Super cool with the orange on the inside, black matte on the outside. And we have, is that everything? The um, PewDiePie, this book loves you, signed by the man himself. Amazing. So, those jelly beans. That is all that was in the Ilsa crate. Um, I am blown away. Ugh! Why did I do that? <laughs> Why? Why do I? Oh my god. That one's worse. Oh, for... Oh. <laughs> really. I need to stop eating the eggs. Lesson learned. If anything says mystery flavor, don't eat it. <laughs> it tastes... Like, oh, I can't, I can't describe it. It's like, it's a bit like vomit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, whew, I got it down. No, nah. serious time. I am blown away by this person's generosity. I, like, I'm speechless. I can't, I don't, I don't know what I've done to deserve this amazing um, kindness, but thank you so much. I, yeah, I'm just, I'm speechless. Everything in here, you obviously know me very well. Um, and I, I can't wait to, to just start putting the stuff like the pop figures in my, in my house to show off and wearing the shirt and putting up the, the picture I'm just like I can't believe it like you pretty much got everything spot on I mean you nearly killed me with these but I think that was your intention <laughs> to kind of make me squirm with those um but yeah I, I <laughs> yeah I'm just like I'm totally just like rabbit in the headlights right now I'm just like it's all so amazing I don't know what to say um yeah I just I feel very, very spoiled, but very, very lucky right now. And thank you so, so much for, for getting me this. You know who you are. Thank you so much. Um, you'll be getting all the hugs when I see you next, hopefully soon. Um, and to everybody watching, I hope you enjoyed me like losing my shit over um, pretty much 
everything on my Christmas list. Um, yeah, I can't. Yeah. I'm just, ah! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all on the podcast. Bye. Okay, but for real, I need to try all the flavors. So let's let's get them out. That didn't sound dodge at all. So we got pink. Ooh, blum and egg. Cherry or something. Oh my god. The flavor is so intense. It's like punching you in the face. Mmm. Okay. I can see why these make kids high as a kite. Because I feel a little jittery already. And I've only had however many mystery flavors I had. Mmm. Certainly feel more awake than I did when I started the video. But that could just could be. I can't believe. I can't believe all this stuff. Okay, orange next. This is the one that. Ooh, orange. Oh, God. Ugh. It's like a grapefruit. It's like concentrated grapefruit peel. <laughs> oh, Lord, let me try another one. There's like a moment where you don't get it. And then it hits you like a truck. Oh, God. Do people in America just eat these? Because my taste buds can't handle this right now. <laughs> oh, there was a little like push here to open. I should have probably paid attention to that. I just like ripped into the box. I didn't care. Okay, we'll try green now, which is totally camouflaged again. That one's okay. What flavor is that? Kiwi banana. It's probably the least offensive of them all. What if I not tried the blue one? Anything blue tends to be bad to eat. So, full of like artificial flavorings and stuff. It's kind of like the Matrix. Do you want the red pill or the blue pill? Ooh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's like pineapple, um, like raspberry, but like that blue raspberry flavor. Um, I'm trying to find like a red one rather than a pink one. That one seems to be more intense than that one. So we'll try both. Yeah, that one's definitely strawberry. That one's not quite so bad. I'm not entirely sure what the pink one is. It's really hard to tell. It's just all... They're all mushing together and... This is a hard work. Okay. One more mystery flavor. And I'm outie. Ah. Uh, okay, brave. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like a shoe. Ugh. I don't. Oh, that's really, really bad. I don't, I don't know what flavor that is. It tastes just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it's not agreeing with me, whatever it is. 
very weird chemical it is. Okay, I'm done eating now. Bye bye.